The future is bleak for sportsmanship if we don't start advocating right here and now for it and, and for its success. And really, if you care about any sort of outdoor recreation or even just being able to drive through a beautiful, pristine area, then we absolutely have to not only maintain sportsmanship participation, but increase it. Sportsmanship and conservation are closely connected. Over 81% of hunters and anglers consider themselves conservationists. By going out and experiencing the wilderness and, and harvesting, whether that's uh, fishing and bringing home a fish or hunting and bringing home a deer, uh, that's a way to connect with nature. And it's not about just killing an animal. It's about experiencing nature, being part of it, and better understanding the ecosystems that those animals are part of. And I think that for people who are sportsmen, they actually better understand why it's so important that we take care of these places and make sure that there are healthy uh, ecosystems that these species can flourish in. Well, I, I hear a lot that it's all about the kill, it's blood sport. And I think that couldn't be farther from the truth. The kill, in, in my experience, and the experience of many people I hunt and fish with, is uh, it's a sacred moment, it's the powerful moment, but it's not the big picture. What I enjoy most about hunting and fishing is uh, the intimacy with the environment, with, with Mother Nature. I mean, in the last month, I've been hunting uh, probably more than 30 days, and on only a handful of those days did I harvest anything. But every, every one of those days was a success. It's always been a part of, of human nature to, to go out and hunt, and it's always been a part of these natural ecosystems to have whether that's people or other animals hunting them. You know, we lived off of the land for centuries, and as we industrialized, that stopped happening as much. And, and so as that happened, wildlife populations just got absolutely out of control. And we saw different landscapes getting destroyed by, by wildlife and, and populations not becoming sustainable for both predator and prey. So continuing these practices today is absolutely necessary to preserve the beauty that we see around us. It's an ancient skill and it was, it, it was key to our survival early on in our development as humans. And every bit of that uh, translates into the modern times where hunting is the way we remember that we're just part of this greater ecosystem. And if we forget that, because we're so blinded by technology, and we're probably doomed, uh, not just as sportsmen and women, but as, 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 a, as a species. We have to take care of our ecosystem. How do we do that? Create ownership in every age class, every race, all people that can engage in and buy into our ecosystem and understand it and actually taste it and smell it and hear it. Uh, that's the answer to a long-term survival of not just hunting and angling, but I think survival of our species. There's a huge divide between urban and rural in the United States, and I want to make sure that people, wherever they grow up, have those experiences. It's about equity, and I think that by getting more people involved in, in sportsmanship, by getting, another, getting a fly rod in somebody's hands, they're going to appreciate the importance uh, of conservation and protecting nature, but more importantly, it's going to bring people together around something that uh, is truly American. I believe that climate change is a large risk to our fish and wildlife, but I think complacency is even bigger. So if the younger generation doesn't engage, the whole thing can easily become unwound. Every day there's new challenges to conservation. We have all these pressures constantly, and if there aren't anglers and hunters showing up to conserve that, uh, it will be lost. And the only way the only way to recruit people into the fold is to get them out in the field, make it accessible, make it available. And not just encourage people or invite people, but create uh, giant doorways where people can walk in and experience it firsthand.